Hello YouTube, welcome to another video in the WWDC playlist. Today we are going to see the performance of Mac OS Sonoma in the 2018 Intel MacBook Air. This is the base model with 1.6 GHz dual core 8th gen Intel i5 processor, 8 GP RAM and 120 GP SSD. So before we dive into it, we have a good news. Now we no longer need to be part of Apple Pay developer program to install the beta software versions. So you no longer need to pay $100 a year just to run beta softwares on your machine. And there is no need to get beta profiles. All you got to do is log on to developer.apple.com with your Apple ID which you have signed into your device and that's it. Magic happens once you go to the settings and go into the update section. You get an option to turn on beta updates and here we get to see Mac OS Sonoma update available for us. This can be followed across all Apple devices and once your Apple ID is logged into developer account, it can be used in all of the devices on which you have logged in. So your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch all would get this option and it's completely free. As you can see the comparison between sign in with Apple ID and Apple developer program, now the OS beta releases can be done by all. Only if you want to develop an app to App Store, you would require this account. So I am really glad this has been made hustle free. Now coming to the Mac OS Sonoma futures with the 2018 Intel MacBook Air. We shall see the two major changes and five simple but significant updates. Number one, screensaver wallpapers. This is similar to what you get with Apple TV screensavers or a better version of live wallpapers in Android terms. It's a smooth, slow motion landscape that cycles through different selection of screensavers and once we log in, seamlessly becomes your desktop wallpaper. This are of really high quality as it takes a while to just download one item and works brilliantly especially when I have it connected to external monitor. Then comes the number two, widgets. Well, Apple is going on in all for the widgets. They introduced first on iOS, then to iPad OS and then finally they are on Mac OS as well. In the last update, we got a widget bar to the right and with Sonoma, we can literally place it anywhere on the screen. When you try to place near a widget, it gets snapped into a compact arrangement and also can place it freely in middle of the screen too. And why not? can also fill the screen with different useful glanceable widgets and they are also intractable ones. How cool is that? Now coming to the 5 subtle changes. Number 1. Safari now gets profiles which we can set for work and personal stuff. But I couldn't find it and only tab groups were visible as of now. Also we can place web pages as an app in the dock. So can quickly launch one. Number 2. FaceTime improvements which are limited to Apple Silicon Macs or requires a continuity camera for the futures to work with iPhone 12 or above. Number 3. Messengers app got the stickers and live stickers update but the live transcription and other AI related updates are again limited to Apple Silicon Macs. Number 4. PDF and note update. Luckily, even the Intel Macs get this and can see my iPad Mini 6 running iPad OS 17 video for that. Number 5. Game mode. Well, it's a great future and Mac OS attracting game developers, it's a good thing as we can make use of the M2 Pro, Macs and Ultra chips to build the gaming rig. Well, sadly as expected, this is only for Apple Silicon Macs and not for the Intel Macs. Now coming to the section that we have been waiting for. So how is the performance of Mac OS Sonoma on the 2018 Intel base MacBook Air? Well, I felt it's almost similar to what I had, what I had with the previous Mac OS Ventura, which is a good thing for two things. One, we get interactive widgets on home screen. And second, this is the first developer beta and things should get better with the next betas. So first let's fire up Geekbench 6 text. Sh shall we? We have the result here and they look similar to the previous OS results. We have 895 for single core 
and 1547 for multi-core, which is comparable to the previous results for Ventura that was. 819 single core which has improved quite a bit and 1758 multi core which has gone down. So before we run other synthetic benchmarks, let's see some real world usage experience, shall we? Here I am going to apple.com, then let's open YouTube, then some newspaper site have opened all these with Safari, now let's open Chrome, I have, I have a heavy extension here. Let me open few shopping sites like Amazon, then some Flipkart. All this was smooth and snappy. Now let's go back to the previous tab again and they look good too. Let's go back to Safari again. There is some reload or at least we have a blank screen and then the page appears. They are just fine and it is similar to how it was with the Mac OS Ventura and I am happy for that. Going back to GPU test with Geekbench 6. We got 3085 with the Sonoma compared to 3228 with Ventura, which is again a slight downgrade. But again, nothing to worry about as I mentioned before. Now, just to give an idea of how much more powerful the 2020 base Apple Silicon MacBook Air is compared to 2018 base Intel MacBook Air. Let's compare the Geekbench scores. The Intel single core was 895 compared to 2335 of Apple Silicon. The MI1 model that's more than 2.6 times the Intel model. Then the multi-core of Intel was 1547 compared to M1's 8510 is like 5.5 times the Intel model. So there is absolutely no completion here. If you want to see a comparison of this Max with previous OES, we'll leave a link below in the description and also can assess from the top right corner of screen. Do let me know if you want me to compare with Mac OS Sonoma. Now, most people use MacBook Air for web browsing primarily, so let's see some speedometer test, which simulates the web browsing performance. Well, I got 113, which is really commendable for this kind of devices given its age and again there is no much difference here with Sonoma. It was around the 100 to 100 mark as before. I even ran some Cinebench test for more sustained load and the fans got kicked in by then and until that is was super silent. That's really good for an Intel Mac. So the update is not running some heavy background task and the result again are comparable to the previous OS results. So to conclude, can we install Mac OS Sonoma on Intel Macs that are supported? Yes, you can and there is no performance degradation or whatsoever. But shockingly, Apple has removed many Intel Macs from the compatibility list, which we see here. And this 2018 MacBook Air might be on the last leg of its life cycle. Well, the Apple Silicon Macs are much faster and efficient. Still, I don't see why a high-end Mac from older generation is missed out. Maybe it's Apple's way of saying upgrade to the Apple Silicon Mac folks. Also, there are some features limited to Apple Silicon Macs like the FaceTime advancements, the game mode and so on. So that aside Mac OS Sonoma is one good update to Mac OS, and brings the lock screen and desktop somewhat similar to their mobile counterparts. And that's my friend is how an ecosystem should work and nobody does that better than Apple. So on that note, it's time to wrap up the video. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more post WWDC coverage and beta software trials and reviews on somewhat old devices than the la latest ones. And as always, stay safe and peace.